How presidency approved $40 million contract to Jonathan's cousin EFCC tells court. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Thursday told the federal high court in Abuja, that payment for $40 million contract that was awarded to Azib Alda Robert, cousin to former president Good Luck Jonathan was dully approved by the presidency. Azibola and his wife, Stella, are currently answering to a seven-count criminal charge the EFCC preferred against their firm, Oniplus Holdings Limited. At the resumed hearing, the 10th prosecution witness, PW10, in the case, Mr. David M who was an EFCC operative that investigated the deal between the company and the Office of the National Security Advisor, NSA, told trial justice Namta Dimba that he was aware of a presidential memo approving both the contract and payment for the job. Who was cross-examined by the defense counsel, Mr. Chris Ott, San, told the court that his investigative team case across the memo from the ANSA, which he said okayed the payment of $40 million to Oniplus Holdings Limited. Asked if he saw the memo from ANSA through which the payment of $40 million was made to Oniplus account, replied, yes, my lord. The payment was duly authorized by the NSA. He said, my lord funds from which the $40 million was paid to Oniplus came from NPC funds. In March 2014, Lieutenant Colonel Sam Bodasuki, RTD, wrote a memo to the president entitled Intervention in Urgent National Security Project through which he saw the approval of Mr. President for the sum of $1 billion for subheads and surveillance of pipelines and additional request for $250 million. The president gave approval to his request. The president approved the release of the sum of $1.2 billion. In May the sum of $1.2 billion was then released from an NPC accounts. It was this fund that was dispersed to various recipients. The $40 million was part of the $1.2 billion statutorily approved and released for urgent national security intervention. I can confirm. The offense, according to the EFCC, contravenes Section 8A of the Money Laundering, Prohibition, Act. 2011 as amended in 2012 and punishable under Section 15, 3, of the same Act. Justice Namdimpa has adjourned the trial to 22 and January 23, 2018 to enable the defense to cross-examine more of the prosecution witnesses.